Welcome to the ultimate guide to the oat cake. This is the story of possibly one of the most peculiar foods in England. This particular food is the heart and soul of many families across Staffordshire. And where is this place? Up north, in the black country, where is Stoke-on-Trent? It's in North Staffordshire, sandwiched between the West Midlands and the North West, between Birmingham and Manchester, at the crossroads of England, but just away from the traffic. The folk of Staffordshire pride themselves over one of its most traditional creations, the oat cake. Yes, the oat cake. Spreading no further than the Staffordshire boundaries, not many people have come into contact with them. And when they do, the oat cake is not greeted with grace. But now it's time to show the world exactly what the oat cake is and why the people of Staffordshire simply just can't get enough. Holy mackerel. But what is an oat cake, I hear you say? Well, it looks like you need to hear from Terry. He makes oat cakes every day. And I'm the expert on the oat cake. Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think the best way to describe it is a savoury pancake, really. Yeah. That's it's the best uh, way to, to say what it is. Not, not sweet. It's not no, sweet. No, it's savoury. It's yeah. not sweet. Yeah, it's, it's a North Staffordshire Japati. <laughs> That's what they all That's call them. That's what they all call them, North Staffordshire mm. But no, it's just a traditional um, breakfast food, or any time food, to be honest. I'm Michelle. I'm Denise. And I'm Terry. And we all work at TJ's Oat Cakes on Leet Road. My father uh, started an oat cake business in 1973. I wandered across to our oat cake shop one morning where we had oat cakes from and he offered me the chance of an oat cake shop. And I went up to the bank, had a word with the manager, uh, he asked me what I knew about oat cakes and what, you know, I said nothing. And he said, how much money have you got? I said, got none. And he gave me a loan which started us off in the oat cake business. Anything. Anything. <laughs> you name it, you can put anything on it. We have put chilli on as well. Put anything you like. Chilli and cheese. You can use a wrap and put salad in it, whatever you want. Nice. You just nice, treat it as nice, bread. Nice cold cheesy oat cakes rolled yeah. up as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, Butter that goes on a buffet, that's yeah. lovely. Yeah. Grated cheese Grated on cheese or and pickle. Or anything an like onion, that. Yeah. Yeah. Cranston and all sorts of different things. Chutneys. All your, all your things you have for your breakfast, on your breakfast. The origins of the oat cake is surrounded by mystery. Some say the Staffordshire folk were born with them. Others think Staffordshire soldiers made their wives recreate the chapati after returning home from India. No one truly knows the legend of the oat cake. They always say that oat cake started on the Staffordshire moorlands. Then I was told they originated from India. But I still like to think they started on the Staffordshire yeah. moorlands. Being like Staffordshire oat cakes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oat cakes are really a basic ingredient. When he first came in here, he had his dad's mix on a list of what he had to put in the oat cake mixture. That's way in the, in the safe. In the That's safe. locked away in the safe. Yeah. Nobody can see that. No, we don't even know what goes on. My friend, we cannot keep this a secret any longer. Oats and cake are not the ingredients of the oat cake the ingredients are much more complex. You will need a lashing of cool water, a sprinkling of salt, a generous amount of your finest oatmeal, a dashing of yeast, a heartwarming helping of plain and oatmeal flour, Together, this creates the oat. But I don't think you could make them in a hot country. I don't know. I don't make. Yeah, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. I don't see why. Well, I wouldn't like baking in a hot country and do oat cakes yeah. in the Yeah, but I mean, you have the ventilation. The cool I know. Water, I know. But I wouldn't. 
No, well, they're more, more or less. Rich. We belong to the old breed. <laughs> It's, it's the actual tradition of oatcakes in Staffordshire as well. Yeah. I'd hate to they think they, they'd long actually way. go out of fashion as such. I, I don't think they'd ever die out. They're never going to die out. I mean, it's a pity that you know, there is one or two oatcake shops that have closed. I mean, years ago, you used to take them around in, ba in baskets. And you had to take a plate to the front door and you'd, you'd put the oatcakes on, on your plate for you with a tea towel. Although not known worldwide, or even nationwide. The thing that keeps the oatcake warm and alive are the people. So spread the cheese and cook the bacon, grill the sausage and wake up to the legend that is the oatcake.